plant fam and welcome back to my channel in today's DIY I'll be making something beautiful and glam from these water containers from Dollar Tree now here's the thing I won't be using this part so what I want to do is take the lids off and put these aside and I'm sure I'll come up with a DIY for these as well I mainly wanted them for the lids because they're sturdy one of the lids I'll cut the circle out the other one I'll leave the whole lid intact. So let me get my hot knife and let's get started. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around and score it a little bit. Okay, so more than likely you'll have some rough spots. So what you wanna do is just take your hot knife and just go in and slowly cut away at what you have too much of. And I have an old towel on my left, and I'm using that to wipe away the melted plastic off my knife. And you can also take some sandpaper and smooth it out as well. And here's some 80 grit sandpaper that I picked up from Dollar Tree. You can just go in there and smooth it out. Next up, I have these bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree. And these things are really, really long. Super, super long. Now I took one out of the package and I want to cut seven inches off. Next, I'm going to cut it with this blade. And I picked this blade up at Michael's some time ago. And I had it like taped up in the package, but called a razor saw set and just cut right on the dot and then you can just pop it just like that I'm going to be using these inside here I'm going to cut about 20 of these 7 inch sticks and then come back okay guys I'm back and I have 20 seven inch dowels. If you can find whatever length you want already cut, do that because ooh, this thing was no fun. <laughs> I actually started going all the way around. Once I scored it all the way around, on the score and hit it with a hammer and it broke. So that made it go a whole lot easier. So I have hot glue and I have my Gorilla Glue. This is gonna be the base. I wanna go ahead and start gluing this as close to the side as I can. So I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Glue and put it right around the base like that. Let's see, let's make sure it's straight and add some hot glue right inside. And just hold this like this until the hot glue sets up. And again, I have my bear from Timu and I use it to cool the hot glue down quicker. And as you can see, it's still leaning a little bit. So I'm going to put this right in the middle. And this will give it something to hold on to. So now I'll take another stick. And as you can see, I'm putting glue all the way around the base. And directly across from that one. And now I'll add more hot glue. Okay, and I'm not letting the hot glue get on the base. Off camera, I'll go right in the center of here. Then I'll do the same thing all the way around. This is what we have so far. Now between each two sticks, some places I add one stick and then some places I'll add two sticks depending on how big the space is. And it's like that because I didn't measure. Okay, now this side is a little bit wider. This one's gonna take two sticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more sticks and I'm gonna try and make them evenly spaced all the way around. Once I do that, I'll come back. Okay guys, so I use my fan to cool this down. Let's go ahead and remove the tape. I 
Okay, guys, so this is what we have. And my guess was right, it took all 20 sticks. So now I wanna go ahead and remove the vases in the center. Okay, guys, so now we have this, and I'm gonna clean up all the extra glue strings. And there's a clump of glue on the inside. And we'll address that later. Out, so I'm gonna take both pieces outside and spray paint them silver, and then come back. Okay guys, I'm back and this is what I have. I left it blue on the bottom, but this is what we have. And as you can see, we have a lot of glue clumped on the inside, but that's really helping me hold my sticks in place. So now I'll go ahead and try and cover some of the glue up. So I'm gonna use more of my hot glue and just reach inside and glue it down. So again, I'm just reaching inside and placing the beads directly on top of the hot glue. So I'm done adding the beads on the inside. And I did get a little bit of hot glue right there in the center, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Now we're gonna take more of our silver beads and go around the outside as well. And this will help camouflage that glue even more. Okay, just like that. Okay, so next up, I have some of these Dollar Tree gems, and I'm gonna glue these right around the inside of the vase. And the reason I'm doing that is because I still see some hot glue, and these gems will make it even more blingy. So, I'm just gonna put some hot glue inside. So I'll continue to add those off camera and then come back. Okay guys, I'm back and this is the very next day. My battery died, so I had to stop. Let me show you what the inside looks like now. So I'm gonna start gluing some of my gems at the bottom, then make my way up to the top. Now this is my first time doing this, so I hope it works. And now I'll just go around and continue to add beads all the way around. Okay, I went ahead and added one here. So I'll skip this one and go here. Okay, so that's the pattern. So I'll continue to go up and then when I get like halfway, I'll come back and let you see what that looks like and then continue on. This portion of the video is sponsored by Timu. This is where we are so far. Before I put the top on, I want to use some of this diamond bling that I got from Timu.com. And if you saw my Timu haul, I did mention that I would be using this bling in a DIY or two. And I knew I'd use it because it was already cut and that makes it a whole lot easier. What I'm gonna do is put some on the base and I'm gonna use a little bit of glue just to make sure it sticks indefinitely. And I'm gonna use some of my Gorilla Glue. Normally I would use Fix All, but I'm out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some around this one as well once that's done, I'll come back and move on to the next bit. I'm done adding the diamond fling around the top. I found these at Dollar Tree too, and I want to use this in the middle as a lift. So you can put a wider candle on there or a tea light. Off camera, I went ahead and spray painted one silver. So I'm just gonna add some glue to it. And then put this right in the center. So now I add some glue here on top. and on the sides. I'm gonna find the back of this. 
and line it up with the back of the candle holder. And now I just want to slowly put the sticks in place. Okay, now there's a lip inside. You wanna make sure that the sticks are right in front of the lip inside, like that. Now, I want to go ahead and add some more of my beads. Okay, just like that. So that's what we have so far. I'm going to allow this to dry for about three hours and then we'll come back and decorate the top. And I wanna add some feet on the bottom of this as well. Then we'll light it up and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I have allowed this to sit up overnight and this is what it looks like on the inside. Here's the outside. And now I need to address the top. So I have some flower bling. <laughs> And this bling has gone through it. So what I did, I went ahead and went through it and got some good pieces out. And I'm gonna glue them right on top with some hot glue. I have a lighter here because whenever you cut this, these little strings are always attached. I like to just use a lighter to burn the strings off. That makes a world of difference. Just like that. And now I think I'll go in and put some rhinestones right on top just to give it a more finished look. All right, so I'll just show you a couple of rhinestones. And then I'll finish the other ones off camera. Okay, just like that. And I'll do the other ones off camera. Then we'll come back and put some feet on the bottom. Okay, so now I'll take four of the Dollar Tree gems and glue them right on the bottom. Now we have our feet. That's what it looks like from the side of the feet. Okay guys, so now I'll go ahead and light this up with some string lights and an LED light. And I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like. And as promised, is my beautiful, sparkly, glam candle holder on display. And as you can see, the Timu Bling took it to the next level. And I'll link my Timu code below. And I'll also link the bling as well. And here I'm using a set of the Timu string lights to light up my candle holder. Now, these lights are really white, but my camera always tends to give off a blue hue for whatever reason, but they are really beautiful bright white. And finally, I use one of the Dollar Tree LED lights, and as you can see, it gives off a really warm glow. Comment below which look is your favorite. Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.